for people that like to do radio experiments in an old school way. So not with dongles, uh, software defined radio, uh, etc, etc. This could be a useful circuit. I've made it and used it in this shortwave radio. And um, I found in my first experiment with this circuit that was already published on YouTube that when I connected a, um, the output to the mixer here, the output to the mixer that's here, uh, the whole wave uh, started to crumble in. So I had to use another buffer stage, an extra buffer stage. And that extra buffer stage is here. This is the output from the first circuit that was already published. And this is the new circuit. And as far as I can see, it's a grounded uh, base transistor amplifier made with a real high frequency transistor amplif uh, amplifying approximately two times. So here is the old circuit, the oscillator published. And here we find, find the 1 and mega ohm resistor and here also. So this part of the circuit from the old circuit must be connected um, in this way to the new circuit. And that's here. And then of course you have to connect the gate here. To the one mega ohm resistor, yeah, one mega ohm, and then it goes further to the second stage. I have to pan over to give more information. Decoupling unit for the field effect transistor. I have already told, talked about that. The connection from the BF195C. High frequency transistor made in Europe in the 1980s. And here the base is connected to the ground and the, the signal is sent in at the emitter. And here we find the amplified signal at 0.2 volts. Input is 0.1 volts. And output is 0.2 volts. Easy to understand, easy to make, uh, though I spent a lot of time to get it working. And this circuit is quite critical to keep the waveform very pure. I had to use these resistors here to limit the value in the collector lead. And these capacitors were also critical and the working point and the pure waveform is set with the help of this potentiometer. potentiometer. And that's everywhere in my videos.